and welcome to yet another video, another interview here this week in beautiful, sunny and freezing cold Dallas, USA. Uh, today I'm really happy to have Ahmed Kamal who works on the community team as the uh, Ubuntu Cloud Community Liaison. Now Ahmed, how did you join Canonical? How did you get started? Yeah, so I've been following you know, the work that Canonical is doing with Ubuntu. It's, it's always exciting to follow uh, main open source companies. So I read about this job, you know, and your post basically and um, I applied, got a couple of interviews and um, well that's it basically. And here you are. Yeah, exactly. So tell us about what your views on the cloud are. I mean we, we, we hear a lot in, in the Ubuntu world about the, the, the private cloud, um, you know, with Ubuntu cloud infrastructure, the, the, the public cloud mm -hmm. with a Amazon EC2 and, and you know the personal cloud with Ubuntu One as well. True. What's your vision of the cloud? I mean, where do you think that Ubuntu has got such a, you know, a really great shot at? Okay, so lots of things are getting called cloud these days, and basically, um, you have, you know, you, Ubuntu aims to be the best operating system for the cloud, which means two different things. It means the best guest operating system that you can run on a commercial cloud, like say Amazon or Rackspace or whatever. So we have lots of like technologies like cloud init and and multiple other optimizations to make sure that Ubuntu is the perfect guest operating system. And also, um, Ubuntu aims to be the best operating system to build your cloud on. And that means you know, running UEC, which is Ubuntu Enterprise Cloud. So you install that on your bare metal, on bare metal servers, and you create your own server, uh, your own cloud, basically. Um, uh, and of course, you know, these two are separate from you know, you know, your own storage cloud or private cloud like Ubuntu one, which means uh, basically it's, it's just a way to store your files in the cloud, synchronize across multiple machines, access from anywhere, mobile device, web device. So these are all you know, cloud-style services that Ubuntu um, creates for you. So, a lot of people, um, well, not a lot, but some people in the open source community have said that the cloud doesn't feel like a very community thing. It's driven by lots of big companies. So, what are you doing to, to grow the cloud community? I mean, what are you working on? Yeah, so basically, um, we're doing lots of little things to help attract community around Ubuntu Cloud Works. So, um, like one of the, we just released the Ubuntu Cloud Portal. You can visit that at cloud.ubuntu.com. And it's basically a way to kickstart new community members who are interested in cloud stuff but don't really, not really sure where to go. So if you, you can go there, you can, you know, you can follow a planet style aggregator to get all the latest news about cloud and Ubuntu and anything that's related to them. All the management tools, all the demos, all the cool new blogs that you know everyone writes in the Ubuntu server team and the cloud team. Uh, so you can follow the news there. You can. Um, you can find links to connect to the community, you can connect to the forums, to IRC, um, to the mailing list. Um, um, so, you know, the, the idea is to, is to get you kick-started so you can find things that you can do with the community, tasks that you can work on, um, you know, channels to communicate. So that's, that's like one of the things you can do. Um, I recommend anyone who is interested in cloud to join the forums, ubuntuforums.org. There is a UEC cloud section to join the Ubuntu-Cloud mailing list. Um, if, you're, if you're interested in running on EC2, then there is an EC2 Ubuntu mailing list specifically for that. Um, so these are like the main um, channels. You can also jump into hash Ubuntu Cloud, Ubuntu-Cloud IRC room on free node. So like all of the Ubuntu server team there, the developers, I'm there, uh, named Kimo, K-I-M-0. Uh, just ping me if you need anything, if you want to connect or help in any way. So a lot of people who are watching will be familiar with, cloud, with, with the concept of the cloud and, and they'll have heard lots of cool things about the cloud and things like that. Yeah. But a lot of people won't necessarily know how to get started, right? I mean, they, they've got a couple of, a couple of machines, they want to play with, getting, you know, play with some of the technology, essentially. Mm -hmm. if, if somebody wants to play with either the private cloud or the public cloud, how do they get started? What's the best thing to do? Okay, now um, these two are separate. You know, if you want to start with the public cloud, easy to stuff, um, we've made it very easy. You basically, you know, you, you can watch uh, some of the screencast work that I've been doing. Um, you can basically get your server up and running in a few seconds. So you, like, you visit the Amazon console. You choose an AMI image, which is like a template of, of Ubuntu. Click start, and it starts. Uh, we have this, you know, cloud init technology that enables you to simply, um, very quickly customize the image as it boots. So instead of a standard boilerplate Ubuntu image, you can customize it to become, you know, a LAMP stack or a MySQL server or whatever you want. Um, so that's, that's, you know, the public clouds. It's quite easy, really. For the, for the private cloud stuff, you can install UEC. You get that on the um, server CDs. 
Um, so the, the Ubuntu Server Engineering team did some great work to integrate Eucalyptus, which is the base for our UEC stuff. Um, so you install from CD, you boot from CD, you choose an option to install Ubuntu Enterprise Cloud. You know, it boots up, it advertises itself in the network, you install it on other nodes, they all join in, they all, you know, the cloud just detects itself and forms across different nodes quite easily. It's, it's just amazing. That's fantastic, yeah. So, um, what do you see as the future? I mean, in terms of, in terms of where we want to go forward in growing the cloud community, I mean, you've put some really good, some really good, you know, starting points down into the sand. I mean, where do you see the future? Where, where would you like to see the community grow? Well, basically, we're talking about you know read-only communities and read-write communities. So, for the read-only community, or like the um, the users of the cloud, I would say, um, I know that you know uh, Ubuntu is is at least one of the most popular platforms in the EC2 cloud and the public cloud in general. So, I'd like to see more people you know get on the forums, get on mailing lists, share their experiences, share their best practices on you know how they manage their cloud, how do they do they automate it, do they you know install the stuff and monitor it and all of the things that you really need to operate your cloud efficiently. Um, um, and also, you know, the other thing is, is the people who actually want to hack on UEC itself or on the, um, say, Cloud Init or other technologies that are helpful um, to running Ubuntu as a guest OS. So if you want to, you, you know, work on a feature or help resolve a bug, you can, you, you know, everything is, is really done in the open. So you can just go to the blueprints um, in, in Launchpad watch like what, what features are being worked on, you can discuss it, you can design in the open, you can code in the open, you can fix bugs, commit features, and you know, um, so you, you know, there's always a way to help. You just you either share your experience, share your you know, code, bugs, um, lots of ways to, to help really. And, and you've, been, you've now been working uh, on the team for what, eight um, months, something like that? Six or eight uh, months? No, it's like, um, yeah, six months. Yeah. About six months? Yeah. I mean, it's a short period of time, but you've spent a lot of work, you've done a lot of work in that short period of time. How have you seen the community grow and react to the work that you've been doing? Um, it's pretty good, yeah. So, um, really, um, it was a bit, you know, when I started, uh, there was very little focus on cloud specifically. So, we had the server community and there was um, a bit, you know, there is a bit of overlap with the server community still because, you know, cloud is, at the end of the day, it is server. Um, but, you know, we have basically, you know, um, separated the Ubuntu Cloud mailing lists, created the forums, and it's been picking up quite some nice steam. So there is now, like, there, there are daily posts on the forums, people asking and people answering questions. You know, at the, at the first few months, I would, you know, I would try to answer because, you know, there, there was no other people answering and stuff. But, you know, as it picks up steam, you know, um, today there's really uh, people answering, people asking, people commenting, and it's starting to. So you're seeing it. You're seeing it start to really, yeah, start roll, to really roll, roll, roll. That's what we like. We yeah. like to roll. Yeah, rock and roll. So, um, so just wrapping up, just again, just remind the internet. Mm -hmm. How do they get involved? How do they participate? How do they check out the work that you've been doing? So. Okay, so um, visit cloud.ubuntu.com. You should find pointers there uh, to point you everywhere. Um, visit ubuntuforums.org, um, the mailing list, ubuntu-cloud, IRC room, ubuntu-cloud on free note, uh, ping me, Kimo, K-I-M-0, um, if you want to have any questions about anything. Thanks. Thanks for joining us, Ahmed, and uh, great work. So, goodbye from Ahmed, goodbye from me, and of course, George Castro. Behind the camera.